Hi, I'm Sam, editor of Bitesize.ph, and welcome to Sulit Meal Hacks, the show where we cook seven Sulit meals good for two people using one main ingredient. If you like meal hacking as much as I do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bitesize.ph. So for our episode today, we use the main ingredient na masarap, masustansya, at abot kaya. At the main ingredient na yan ay gulay. At not just any gulay, isang bayong na gulay. So let's see what we have here. We have moringa or malunggay, sitaw or string beans, lemongrass or tanglad, talong or eggplant, kamatis or tomatoes, sigarillas or winged beans, Ito, okra or okra, patola or lufa gourd, green papaya or hilaw na papaya, singkamas or hikama, Luya or ginger, kamote or sweet potato, and patatas or potato. So there you have it, all the gulay for this episode. So here are the recipes we'll cook for this episode. Sitaw singkamas and papaya salad, cheesy kamote and mushroom croquettes, sinigang na okoy with sinigang mayo, steamed patola and egg cups, crushed tokwa and talong stir-fry, calderetang gulay, Bake mac and eggplant. So for the full market or grocery list, you can check the description box of this video. Now we're ready. Let's start cooking. Unang recipe na ating gagawin ay ang sitaw singkamas papaya salad. Now this is a Thai inspired dish na tinatawag nilang som tam. So ang first step natin ay kailangan na natin ihanda yung mga gulay for this recipe. So I'll start with the papaya. So sa papaya madagta kasi to. So ang pinaka best way yan para mawala yung dagta is when you slice the top. Ira-rub mo siya para mawala yung dagta. Ayan, no? namumuti na siya. Okay, let's scrape that off. So ngayon naman, babalatan na natin yung papaya. Sa paggawa nito, mas maiging meron kayong peeler. Pero kung wala naman, please be very careful with handling your knife. So now, I'm going to slice this in half. Patanggalin lang natin yung seeds. So tinatanggal natin yung seeds kasi hindi mo naman siya kailangan for this recipe. And hindi naman talaga siya kinakain. Ayan, so natanggal na natin yung seeds niya. We're ready to grate it. So very simple, you just have to grate it para hindi mo na siya kailangan i-slice into tiny pieces. Nakita nyo, ganito yung itsura niya. So ayan, marami na tayo nag-grate. Pwede ko na siya ilipat sa lalagyanan. We have our grated papaya. Ngayon naman, maruin na natin yung singkamas. And that's it. Itapad lang natin yung mga balat sa ating trash bowl. Now we're gonna slice them into 4-inch long strips. There! So, ilipat na lang natin siya sa bowl. So, yan na ang ating prepared singkamas. Now naman, we're gonna do the sitaw. Okay, so for our sitaw naman, dalawang peraso lang kailangan natin for this recipe. So, tanggalin mo na natin yung dulo niya. And, isa-slice natin siya same size ng ating singkamas. So, ilipat lang natin siya ulit sa bowl. Okay, so ngayon naman, gagawin natin yung kamatis. Make sure also when you buy your vegetables, Huwag niyo siyang hugasan until kailangan niyo na siyang gamitin para hindi siya mabilis mag-spoil. So for this one, ika-quarter lang natin siya or hating paapat. So tanggalin lang natin yung mga buto. Okay, so natanggal na natin yung seeds. We'll transfer now our kamatis to a bowl. So we're done na preparing our vegetables. We're ready to assemble them na. Okay, so for our first step, we're going to pound muna our garlic, hibe, and our siling labuyo or red chilies. Okay, so we're just pounding these ingredients. Kailangan magmukha siyang paste. Very common talaga ang almires or mortar and pestle in uh, Asian cuisines. It's really good kasi dun mo talaga na-incorporate yung mga flavors. So, dagdag muna natin ating kalamansi juice. Okay, and then next, dagdag natin yung patis. Lalagay ko na rin yung brown sugar. So, I'll just mix it until na-incorporate siya. Okay, so now, idadagdag na natin ating green papaya. So for this one, hindi natin siya super pound naman. No? Gusto lang natin na i-bruise siya or sugatan siya ng konti para talaga manuot yung laso ng ating dressing. So lagyan na natin yung ating kamatis and yung sitaw. And then ganun din, just lightly bruise them or lightly pound them para manuot talaga yung flavors. Okay? So lilipat na natin ito sa bowl. And now, we'll toss another singkamas and the peanuts. 
with the sinka mass, you really get to add that touch of freshness. And with the peanuts, that crunch, na talagang nag add na different dimension of flavor and texture sa yung salad. Yan, so ito transfer na natin siya to our serving plate. Your refreshing side dish, sito sinka mass and papaya salad. Now for our next recipe, we're going to make cheesy kamote and mushroom croquettes. So first, ang gagawin natin is babaratan muna natin ang ating sweet potato or ating kamote. So if you wanna do this recipe, you can do it ahead of time para mas bumilis yung pagluto nyo. So ayan, marinis na siya. Pwede na natin siya i-chop into small pieces. Now even if you're gonna boil it and mash it, mas magandang i-chop mo siya into smaller pieces para mas sabili siya mag-boil. So we're going to do the same things with the other kamote. Okay? So, tapos na tayo mag-chop. Ngayon naman, mag-boil na tayo ng water at parang pakuluan ng ating mga kamote. So, now we'll cover it para it will boil properly. Ininins na natin ngayon ng ating mushroom. So, mince also means tad-tad. So, kailangan lang natin siyang tad -ta rin. Here you have it. Meron na tayong minced mushrooms. Next step nito, we have to mix it with our cheese na grated na. And then, you have to put it in the chiller for a few minutes. Alright, so na-boil na natin yung ating kamote and malambot na siya. We are now ready to mash it with our ingredients. We're gonna put milk, butter, salt, and pepper. And now we'll mash it. Kung wala kayong masher sa bahay, pwede kayo gumamit ng fork. Okay, so na-mash na natin yung ating kamote. We're going to chill it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, so yan, napalamig na natin yung ating mashed kamote. Pwede na tayo mag-assemble ng croquettes. So first, we get a spoonful of the mashed kamote. Of course, dapat malinis ang iyong kamay. So you just have to flatten it. And then, lagyan na natin siya ng filling. Yung ating mushroom na may cheese mixture. Tapos, we close in the croquette or the mashed kamote into the filling. And then, dilugin mo lang siya. So for the whole recipe, you can go to www.bitesize.ph. Ready to bread these. So first, we're gonna crack our eggs. So, i-beat lang natin yung ating itlog. And then, the right way to bread croquettes is F-E-B. That's flour, egg, and then breadcrumbs. And then, one hand, you assign it for the dry ingredients or yung sa mga tuyo, tulad no flour tsaka nung breadcrumbs. And then, isang kamay mo, gagamitin mo para dun sa basa. Para hindi naghahalo-halo lahat sa kamay mo. There you go. You have your breaded croquettes ready for frying. But before we fry them, we have to check muna kung mainit na yung mantika natin. Kukuha na tayo ng croquette, and then we'll drop it na in the oil. So what we want to achieve lang naman here is the color na golden brown. Because luto na rin naman yung kamote mo, tsaka yung filling niya. And if you don't want to deep fry it, you can use an air fryer or you can bake it. Alright, you see that color? That's perfect. And then lagay lang natin sa plate with the paper towel lining para ma-absorb yung extra oils. Sa bilis ng pag-fry niya, dahil tamang-tama yung heat ng iyong oil, hindi siya nababad masyado sa oil. Your tasty baon bites, cheesy kamote and mushroom croquettes. So for our third recipe, it's very interesting. We're combining two Filipino favorites, yun ang sinigang at ang okoy. Very interesting, di ba? And we're gonna pair it with a sinigang mayo dip. But first, we're going to do muna our sinigang okoy, and I'm gonna prepare all the vegetables for it. Okay, so for the kangkong, kailangan lang natin ng roughly chopped na leaves at saka ng kanyang stems na discs. So itong recipe na to, pasok na pasok talaga sa budget nyo. Alam niyo ba ang kangkong ngayon sa palengke ay nasa 5 pesos lang? Okay, so after naman the kangkong, I'm going to slice the eggplant into strips. Two pieces lang kailangan ko at cut into mga 4-inch strips. So, we're done with the eggplant. Ngayon naman, gawin natin ng ating okra. So, for the okra, you just have to slice it into discs or yung bilog-bilog. So, pag ito madali lang, you can make it sabay-sabay. Okay, so for this one naman, ang sigarilas, nasa 25 pesos lang per bundle. And we'll slice it lang na paslant. Ayan, so we're done na with the sigarilias. Ngayon naman yung kamote. So, for this one, para balatan siya na mas madali, I'll show you a tip. Kailangan mo lang siya bigyan ng puwet. Ayan, para makatayo siya. And then just slice the skin following the contour of the potato. Okay, so now natapos na natin siyang i-peel, pwede ko na siyang i-slice into strips. 
Same size lang siya halos no ating eggplant. Okay, so na slice ko na siya into strips, but it has to be thinner pa, like what we call it julienne. So kapag hindi pa siya ganun kanipis, just have to slice it in half or in three. And then we'll do this for the rest of the kamote. So now we're ready to make our okay mixture. So now we'll mix first our dry ingredients. So for this one, you'll need a strainer. Tapos lahat ng dry ingredients nyo, isa-sift nyo lang together para mawala yung mga lumps. So first, I'll put the rice flour. Kung nagtataka kayo bakit may rice flour for frying, actually, ang rice flour is very good for frying kasi it makes it crispier than regular all-purpose flour. So we'll mix in the all-purpose flour for body. And then we'll put our baking powder, our salt. And ang secret kung bakit siya magiging sinigang okoy is we're gonna use tamarind powder. So it's not really okay na nilublub sa sinigang. It's sinigang flavored okay talaga siya. So see, surprising. And now we're sifting it. And then we'll just mix it a little bit more. So set aside muna natin to para gawin naman natin ang ating wet ingredients. For now naman, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix the water, the egg, and the patis together. So first the water. And then tip lang, before nyo i-crack yung egg directly into the bowl, i-crack nyo muna siya into a separate bowl para malaman nyo kung bulok na ba siya, or may dugo ba siya, or may chick ba sa loob. Totoo yun, nangyari sa akin. So now, we break it in a separate bowl. Ayan. So yan. So you can see na it's fresh. And I'll add it na to my water. And then our patis. And then just beat it with a fork. So the reason why hinihiwalay natin yung wet ingredients from the dry ingredients is para well mixed talaga siya and walang matirang lumps, walang mag buo, -buo na part na let's say maabsorb masyado ng flour yung egg, egg mixture pagkalagay mo sa kanya, hindi na siya mag magiging well distributed. Okay, so now that we have now the wet ingredients, we're going to mix it into our flour. So at this point, we'll use a whisk. Yan. So you can see, mas madali siyang ihalo pag pinaghiwalay niyo yung wet ingredients from the dry ingredients. So kung napansin niyo, hindi ko nilagay lahat ng pepper that I have here. Kasi it depends really on your taste if you like it peppery or not. So now naman, ihahalo na natin yung ating mga vegetables into our batter. So we'll put na our kamote, sigarillas. So eggplant, as you can see, I placed water para hindi siya mangitim. We'll just strain that out. Kangkong. And your okra. So now, haluin na natin siya. So make sure lahat ng gulay mo is well coated. Para pa nag-fry ka, they'll all be crispy and yummy. And if you want to see very interesting kakaibang ways of doing okay also, we have a lot on our website. We can refrigerate this for around 15 to 30 minutes habang ginagawa natin ng ating sinigang mayo din. So while we're waiting for our okay mixture to get cold, we're gonna make now our sinigang mayo dip. So I'll first put the garlic, the vinegar, mayonnaise. So kung napansin nyo, I placed vinegar and maglalagay pa ako ng tamarind powder. That's because we want it also na different layers of sour na si matikman nyo. So kung may hindi ka sa sinigang, may hindi ka sa maasim, this recipe is really for you. Okay, so it's well incorporated na. It looks thick na. Before I season it, I want to taste it first para I know kung okay na siya or if I need to put a lot of salt and pepper. It really depends on you, but basta what's important is you taste your dish every step of the way. It's well incorporated na now. Hindi na siya siya ng liquidy. We can set this aside also in the refrigerator while we're frying our okoy. So may tip ako for you guys para mas madaling mag-fry ng okoy. You can get a maliit na platito and then you put the mixture here. Check nyo rin kung lahat ng gulay is kasama na sa yung mixture. And then, we'll drop it close to the oil and slide it in. So, let's let it fry lang until mag-golden siya. So, while waiting for that, I'll make na my next okoy here. Flip muna natin to for yung sunugan. Ayan, so nakita niya parang tumatahimik na yung oil. Pwede mo na siyang iahon. And then we'll drop this one na rin. To transfer them lang to a plate na mayroong paper towel para maabsorb ng excess oil. Okay, so iaho na natin sila and we're good. Your level up classic ulam, sinigang na okoy with sinigang mayo.
So for our next recipe, we're going to make naman steamed patola and egg cups. Now for that one, we're going to use the patola as the main cup of the dish. First, we're going to chop up our itlog na maalat. So again, remember always have a discard bowl or a trash bowl beside you. Okay, so this is how you scoop out your red eggs from the shell. You just scoop it out like this. There. And then we're going to chop it into tiny pieces. So we'll just put these back in the bowl. So make sure po may nakita kayo mga eggshells, just remove it para hindi niyo makain. Yan. Now naman, we're going to slice na our patola cups. So for this one, we can make about three cups. Okay, so we remove first our two ends. Chaka natin siya, it's a chop into three. And now we're going to remove the skin. So just make sure na you slice carefully and thinly para hindi masama yung mga laman. Okay, so that's one piece. Now we're gonna do the same for the rest of the patola cups. So now let's remove all of our peelings and put it in our discard bowl. So now, gagawin natin, tatanggalin natin yung gitna para makagawa tayo ng mga cups. Yung mga di natin kailangan na part sa gitna, ihihiwain lang natin sa tanggalin natin. Pero, mag-iwan kayo ng mga at least half an inch sa ilalim para pag nalagay natin yung egg mixture natin later, hindi siya magsiseep out or lalabas. Yes, makita nyo naman para meron siyang malambot na part na pwede mong tanggalin. Yan, so gumamit lang ako ng knife to create incisions or parang guide para sa spoon ko while I'm scraping it. So we're done na creating our patola cups. For this step, isi-season lang natin sila with sesame oil, salt and pepper, and then we'll put the salted eggs inside. Okay. So this is your sesame oil. We'll season them lang. So this is for added flavor also. Let's put some salt and pepper. Okay. And then, lagyan lang natin sila ng salted egg sa loob. So, for this one, you're adding texture also para pag you bite into it, hindi lang siya all uh, parang scrambled egg sa loob. So, we're done filling up our cups. Yung terang salted egg, gagamitin natin as topping later on. Okay. So, I'm ready to do our filling. So, we put here our garlic, brown sugar, Malunggay leaves. And the eggs. Break the eggs muna in the cups or in the bowl before you should leave it here. in case meron siyang bad egg or dugo or what, you can see it. And I'll season this now with salt and pepper. So easy! So now we're ready to pour the mixture inside the cups. Maglamasyadong puno. And then we'll just use a chopstick to make sure walang air bubbles or air pockets sa loob. So now na natanggal na natin yung air pockets and bumaba na or nag-subside na yung amount inside, pwede na pa natin dagdagan ng filling. Now let's steam these babies. Okay, so we're ready to steam these. Okay, so tatakpan ko na siya. It's up to you if you want to cover them with foil para hindi masyadong umumbok yung egg. Or you can just steam it as it is. Okay, so let's now check kung luto na yung ating patola cups. Oh, that looks really good. Ayan, it's ready firm. So that's ready cooked. Lagyan lang natin siya ng cheese para masarap. So this one is optional. If you don't want to have cheese on it, okay lang din. But if you want added flavor and umami, lagyan niya siya ng keso. And then before you serve it, don't forget to add toasted garlic tsaka yung leftover natin na salted eggs. There, so it's up to you how much cheese you want to put. Okay, so we'll just cover this for a few more minutes until maging super melted na yung cheese and then it's done. Alright, so let's check if the cheese are melted na. Pwede na natin siyang iserve. Your healthy indulgence, steamed patola and egg cups. So for our fifth recipe, we're making crushed tokwa and talong stir-fry. So for this one, we're going to just put all the ingredients inside the almires and livik-dikin lang natin siya. So ang purpose natin here is gawin siyang paste.
So now, pinapound na natin siya para maging paste. So ang gusto natin makita dito is magbuo-buo siya. Napakasarap ng hibi, ihalo sa mga aromatics or sa mga uh, ingredients na naglalabas ng aroma tulad ng garlic, onion, lemongrass, chilies, ginger. Kasi may sarili talaga siyang flavor na masarap na I don't think masyadong na gagamit in Philippine cuisine. So make sure you have a spoon to scrape off the sides para mas bumilis at dumaling yung pag-pound nyo. Ayan, so okay na yung paste natin. As you can see, ito yung texture na gusto natin makita. We can move this na to a separate container. Alright, so this is good. I'll set this aside and we'll proceed to stir frying. So now we'll heat the oil in our pan. So as you can see, the oil is just enough to cover the pan since we're doing stir frying. We can again use our wooden spoon to check if ready na siya for frying. So now we'll fry our tokwa. So what we want here lang is maging crispy siya. We want your tokwa a little bit more mashed. You can mash it on your pan. And then while you're doing that, sina fry mo rin siya para maging crispy. So since our recipe is no meat, it's really a good substitute itong tofu for your meat test recipes. And for the full recipe, don't forget to go to www.bitesize.ph and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Flip it around para yung mga ibang bits natin ay mag-fry further pa. So dito tayo. Okay, so now that our tofu is golden brown, pwede na natin lagay yung talong. First, tanggalin na natin yung tokwa. So now in the same pan, we'll fry our eggplant. Before we do that, it's important na we pat dry it para sobrang dry siya. Hindi siya tumalsik, talsik. At this point, you can choose to season it also para din magkaroon siya ng sarili niyang flavor. We'll put it na in our plate. Okay. And in the same pan, we're going to stir-fry naman yung ating ginawa mixture earlier with the brown sugar, water, soy sauce, and our calamansi juice. So now we're ready to cook everything. So first, I'm going to heat a bit of oil para doon ko isusote yung ating mixture earlier sa ating almires. Okay, we'll check now kung ready na siya. So meron ba kayong mga kwento tungkol sa tulog na mantika? Comment lang kayo down below. So you're supposed to saute this until aromatic. That means until maamoy mo yung mga ingredients na nilagay mo dyan. So when you make mga vegetable dishes, I know na minsan nakakasawa na po at ulit na salad, ginataang gulay, or uh, laswa, or what. So think outside of the box. Look into other ingredients and other um, procedures and recipes from your neighboring countries like, like what we did earlier today, Thailand, or what. Check nyo kung ano yung mga pwede nyo gawin na readily available in your supermarket and try something new. Okay, ready na to. We'll put na our liquids. Muna, let's put muna the water. Soy sauce. And the sugar. So, we'll mix this until ma-dissolve yung ating asukal bago ko ilagay yung kalamansi. Tikman muna natin bago natin idagdag yung ating tokwa and our talong. Remember the two-spoon method. Oh, sarap. So, we'll mix this lang para makoat sila and then we'll turn off the heat and add our sesame oil. Ayan, nakita niya yung sugar, nagka-caramelized na siya. Meaning, it's thickening the sauce. Kasi, nagiging caramel na siya. So, ayan. Masarap yung pampulutan. Okay, so make sure lang, well-coated lahat ng ingredients niyo, Lahat ng eggplant and tokwa. Ayan, this is ready na for serving. Your meatless go-to meal, crushed tokwa and eggplant stir-fry. So, for our sixth recipe, we're going to make calderetang gulay, which I'm very excited about because for those who want to become healthier or gusto niyo maging vegetarian, ito yung mga Filipino dishes na pwede mong gawing vegetarian just by changing the meat, like with mushrooms. So now, una sa lahat, lagyan mo natin ng oil yung ating pan. 
So, ang unang step natin is igigisa natin ang ating aromatics or yung mga ingredients na nagbibigay ng amoy sa ating dish. So, for the full recipe, don't forget to go to www.bitesize.ph And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay? Mainit na siya. Ready na tayo magbisa. So, first with our garlic. And then our onion. Ayan, we can put na our bay leaf and our siling labuyo. Herbs, maganda talaga na nilalagay siya directly on the heat. Sa may, usually sa gasa part kasi doon talaga lumalabas yung flavor niya. So napansin nyo na buo na nilagay namin yung siling labuyo. And that's because it also depends on how spicy you want your caldereta to be. If you want it to be very spicy, you can chop it up. Dagdagan nyo pa if you want. But for us, we just want the right amount of spice. At saka gusto namin, madali siyang tanggalin. So for our next step, iro-roast na natin yung ating tomato paste. Now this is a very important step. Na yung tomato paste dapat niro-roast siya or ginigisa siya para maluto talaga siya. Don't worry if didikit-dikit siya sa pan. Because later on, pag nalagay nyo mo na yung stock at saka yung ibang liquids from the dish, matatanggal mo rin siya. Kayo ba, anong type of caldereta yung gusto nyo? You like it spicy? Do you like it cheesy? Let us know. If you have recipes then na you want to share, vegetarian Filipino dishes, you can also share it with us. You can send us an email at editor at bitesize.ph. Alright, so na-roast ko siya for about 5 minutes. Ngayon, ilalagay na natin yung liver spread, potatoes, tsaka yung mushrooms. As you can see here, yung mushroom natin, nakababa siya sa mainit at tubig kasi dried mushroom yung gamit namin. So you have to rehydrate it before you use it. Okay, let's put na our liver spread. So let's mix that around para evenly coated naman yung ating ingredients here. Okay, lagay na natin yung ating patatas. Ang tip din sa potatoes para hindi siya mangitim, pwede mo siya ibabad sa water until kailangan mo na siyang gamitin. Okay, lagay na natin yung shiitake mushrooms. You don't need the water for this. So kailangan mo lang salain yung iyong mushrooms. So, we saute this for 2 minutes para talagang lumabas din yung flavors ng ating individual ingredients na kakakalagay lang natin. Na maganda sa mushroom, it can take on the flavor of anything that's on the, on the pan. That's why it's a good meat extender or meat substitute. Plus, it has that meaty texture pa. Okay, now we're going to add our stock, soy sauce, and sugar. So now we're using chicken stock, but if you want to try vegetable stock, you can also do that. Our soy sauce. And our sugar. Let's mix this lang for a while, and then we'll let it simmer. So what we're waiting for here is lumambot yung ating patatas. So mga f about 5 to 7 minutes na simmering. And then after natin siya ipasimmer, tsaka natin nalagay yung ibang vegetables natin. The reason why hindi natin minix in agad yung ibang vegetables is para hindi sila malanta or ma-overcook. And now we're gonna cover it para mag-simmer siya ng maayos. Ayan, check na natin kung luto na yung potatoes. Okay, so luto na yung ating potato. Pwede natin ilagay yung ating carrots, green peas, green bell pepper, and cheese. Kayo ba? Gusto nyo nalagyan ng cheese ang caldereta nyo? Or if you have questions, kung ano ba ang difference ng caldereta from afritada, from ano pa ba? Menudo? Let us know. We can help you figure it out. We can also season it at this point, but not too much kasi when you simmer it, mag-reduce pa yung sabaw or mababawasan. But it's good to add it here na rin para ma-incorporate na yung ating salt and pepper sa ating mga vegetables. And then later on, before you finish it off, you can flavor it again. We want it to reduce a little bit more para mag-thicken pa yung sauce. So we're gonna cover it now. Let's check it na. Oh my gosh! Look at that! That's done! Your saucy surprise, calderetang gulay.
And for our last recipe, we're going to make something very delicious and healthy. For sure, we're going to to ng kids. Nyo. We're making baked mac and eggplant. Okay, so let's saute. Let's start muna with our garlic. Onion. Our bay leaf. Italian seasoning. And let's just saute this. So you want your onion to be translucent and your garlic golden. Okay, this is ready. Let's add our tomatoes and make it tender. Okay, so, babayaan lang natin siya hanggang lumambot talaga siya. So now, it's time to add our mushroom and carrots. So now, i-roast na natin ang ating tomato paste. Very important step din ito. You have to be able to roast your tomato paste before you mix the other ingredients in. Kasi dun lumalabas talaga yung sweetness and warmth or warm flavor ng tomato paste. So you'll know it's ready kapag lumabas na yung sweet aroma. I-add na natin yung chicken stock. If you want this dish to be completely vegetarian, you can also use vegetable stock. Okay, so we'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes and you won't cover it para mag siya. Okay, so let's check na the sauce. Ayan, it's reduced na. As you can see, thick na siya. Ito flavor lang natin siya with salt and pepper. But before that, tikman muna natin. Remember, two spoon method. Hmm. Kailangan na ng salt and pepper. So we'll set this aside while I make the cheese sauce. So now I'm ready to do my cheese sauce. Bago ko to ginawa, pinirihit ko na yung oven ko to 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we'll just heat up the pan and add our butter. So for this step, gagawa kayo ng roux or <clears throat> yung butter mixed in with the flour. You can even add onion powder para pag nilagay niyo yung milk nyo, magsithicken siya. Okay, so let's add na our flour and our onion powder. So, you mix mo lang siya hanggang maging paste siya. But you also want to toast your flour a bit for flavor. Just make sure na walang lumps para when you mix in your liquid, walang buo-buo. So, now we can add na our milk. We'll use na our whisk for this part. So, it's normal na para magbuo-buo yung butter nyo because the milk is cold. But once it goes back to its heating temperature from kanina, it will melt again. We can also add na the bay leaf at this point para mag-add na ng flavor to our sauce. And now we add na our cheese. So you can opt to stop na at this point or if you want to add more milk para mag-thin out pa siya. Para ma-extend mo rin yung amount ng yung cheese sauce, pwede mo rin gawin yun. I'm going to add some milk para mag-send out ng konti ang ating sauce. Very common for your roux or yung flour mixer to make your sauces thick. So just add liquid, can be milk, can be water to thin out your sauce. So you can see it's very velvety, it's very smooth. That's what it does talaga when you put roux. You can opt to season it with salt and pepper if you wish. But if the flavor's okay with you, pwede hindi then. It's okay na for me. So this is good na. Alright. Now, we're ready to assemble our baked mac. So, I'm gonna use a ladle or a ladle for the tomato sauce. So, ang layering natin here is we start with the tomatoes or the tomato sauce. So, just cover the entire bottom of your oven safe glass container. Then, after that, lagay na natin ang ating cheese sauce. So, for the eggplant, you know, clam it just water para hindi siya mag brown. And now we're going to add our noodles. We don't need a lot naman kasi yung focus talaga natin dito si highlight yung egg. So important na yung noodles niyo is half boiled lang kasi maluluto pa siya lalo when you bake it. Okay, so there we're done with our first layer. We'll do the same process ng marish natin yung top. So we're done now with all the layers. Now I'm topping it now with mozzarella cheese. Now this one's optional. You can use cheddar cheese or thick milk cheese. But for us, we want mozzarella para it's so gooey and yummy. Okay, we're ready to bake this. Your pamba on veggie meal, 
baked mac and eggplant. So there you have it, seven sulit meals good for two or even more people using one bayong of gulay. At lahat to around 700 pesos lang. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, BiteSize.ph. And if you have recipe suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm Sam, editor of BiteSize, and this has been Sulit Meal Hacks.